Hello, everyone. We'll take more examples to solve uh, and understand how the state minimization is done for the DFA. So uh, given the transition table, it is a transition table of a DFA. Here the Q0 is the start state and Q2 is the final state. So we'll first find out the zero equivalence. And the zero equivalence set would be the non-final state Q0, Q1, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, and Q7, and the final state is U2. Okay, so for finding out the one equivalence, I'll take uh, the pair of uh, Q0, Q1 first, and you just see that the Q0 goes to Q1, and Q1 goes to Q6, and Q1, Q6 both belong to the same set. But on 1, Q0 goes to Q5, and on 1, Q1 goes to Q2. Q5 and Q2 both are the different sets. So we'll say that the Q0, Q1 are not one equivalent. We'll decide other things later. But yes, at this time, Q0 and Q1 are not in the same set. I'm taking a pair of Q0, Q3 now. Now you can see that the Q0 on 0 goes to Q1 and Q3 goes to Q2. So from here itself, you can see that the Q1 and Q2 are in the different sets. Hence, these are not one equivalent. Now you can take a pair of Q0 and Q4. Let's see if they are in the same set. So Q0 on 0 goes to Q1 and Q4 goes to Q7. So 1 and 7, they are in the same set. On 1, Q0 goes to Q5 on 1, Q4 goes to Q5. Obviously, they are same in the same set. Hence, Q0 and Q4 are one equivalent. So I'll just put a tick mark such that I can differentiate it later. And then I'm taking a pair of Q0 and Q5. So Q0 and Q5. Q0 moves to Q1 on 0. And Q5 moves to Q2. Q1 and Q2 are in the different sets. So Q0 and Q5 are not one equivalent. I take another pair, Q0 and Q6. So now Q0 moves to Q1 on 0, and Q6 moves to Q6. <clears throat> Q, Q1 and Q6 are in the same set. You can see that Q1 and Q6 are in the same set. On one transition, Q0 moves to Q5, and uh, Q6 moves to Q4. So Q4 and Q6 both are in the same set. So we can say that Q0 and Q6 are one equivalent. So I just put a tick mark here. Now I'll take a pair of Q0 and Q7. Now Q0 and Q7. Q0 moves to Q1 on 0 and Q7 moves to Q6. So Q1 and Q6 are in the same set. Now Q0 on 1 goes to Q5. But Q7 on 1 goes to Q2. So Q2 and Q5 are not in the same sets. They are in the different sets. Hence, Q0 and Q7 are not one equivalent. So from this, what have we have observed that Q0, Q4, and Q6, they are in the same set. So here, from here, we are observing that Q0, Q4, and Q6, these are one equivalent. So they will be in the same set. So what I remain with is, uh, <clears throat> in this set, I remain with Q1. I have, I'm yet to decide about Q1, Q3, Q5, and Q7. So I am yet to decide about these states. So I will have to take the pairs of these also to decide whether they are one equivalent or not. So I'm taking for Q1 and Q3. So Q1 on 1 moves to Q6, and Q3 on 1, sorry, Q3, Q1 on 0 moves to Q6, and Q3 on 0 moves to Q2. So it means that Q1 and Q3 are not one equivalent because Q6 and Q2 are the different sets. So I'll say that Q1 and Q3 are not one equivalent. Okay, so now I'm taking another pair, Q1 and Q5. So Q1 on 0 
moves to Q6 and Q5 on 0 moves to Q2. It means that Q1 and Q5 are also not one equivalent because they are in they are going in the different sets q6 in the different set and q2 is in the different set so q1 and q5 are not one equivalent i am taking another pair q1 and q7 so q1 on 0 goes to q6 and q7 on 0 also goes to q6 now let's see the transition with one so q1 with one goes to q2 and Q7 <clears throat> on 1 also goes to Q2. So Q2 and Q2 are in the same set. Hence, I'll say that the Q1 and Q7 are 1 equivalent. It means that out of the four states, Q1, Q3, Q5, Q7, I have found that the Q1 and the Q7 belong to the same set. But I'm yet to make a decision for Q3 and Q5. So I'll have to see the pair of Q3 and Q5 also. So I'm going to check for the pair Q3 and Q5. So Q3 on 0 goes to Q2 and Q5 on 0 also goes to Q2. Now Q3 on 1 goes to Q6 and Q5 on 1 also goes to Q6. It means they are one equivalent. So it means I have found that the Q1, Q3 and Q5 are also in the same set. So what is the outcome of the one equivalent? If I clearly mention that, what is the outcome of one equivalence? So I found that the Q0, Q4 and Q6, they are in the same set. Then I have also found that Q1, and Q7 are in the same set. Then I have also found that Q3 and Q5 are in the same set. So this is the outcome of one equivalence. Now I'll compute the two equivalence now. So now for two equivalence, I have these, these, and these target sets. Obviously, there will be Q2 here. That is a separately, uh, the final state. Uh, we have segregated in the zero equivalence mode. So for the two equivalence, let's take a pair of Q0 and Q4. So Q0, let's say this is a rough here. So Q0 on zero moves to Q1, and Q4 on zero, moves to Q7. And now 1 and 7 are in the same set. Similarly, Q0 on 1 moves to Q5 and Q4 on 1 goes to Q5. So they are same, obviously they will be in the same set. So hence I can say that these are two equivalent. Now I take, I take another pair, Q0 and Q6. So about the Q0 and Q6, Q0 on 0 moves to Q1, Q6 on 1 moves to Q6. So are Q1 and Q6 in the same set? No, they are not. They are in the different sets. So I'll say that Q0 and Q6 are not two equivalent. It means I can segregate here itself in the two equivalents that Q0 and Q4 belong to the same set, but Q6 belong to the different set. Okay. Let's take another pair to decide that is Q1 and Q7. So Q1, let's erase all the rough work that is here. Now, uh, what saying? What I'm saying that the Q1 on 0 moves to Q6 and Q7 on 0 also moves to Q6. Then Q1 on 1 moves to Q2, and Q7 on 1 also moves to Q2. So since these two are same, they will be in the same set. Hence, I'll say that the Q1 and Q7 are two equivalent. Fine? 
So we are getting the outcome of the two equivalence that Q1 and Q7 are the same set. We have another pair to check. This is Q3 and Q5. So let's see if the Q3 and Q5 are in the same set. So Q3 in the rough part, I'll kind of calculate once again. So the Q3 on zero moves to Q2 and Q5 on zero also moves to Q2. Similarly, Q3 on one goes to Q6 and Q5 on one also goes to Q6. So since these two are same, these two are also same, we'll say that the Q3 and Q5 are two equivalent. It means that the outcome of the outcome of two equivalence, we have found that it is Q0, Q1, Q6, Q1, Q7, Q3, Q5 are also one equivalent, two equivalent, so they will be in the same set. And then the Q2. So this is the outcome of the two equivalence. Okay, just highlight this. Okay, so this is the outcome of the two equivalence. So having checked the outcome of the two equivalence, it's now the turn to check the outcome of the three equivalence. So there will be less number of the entries to check in the three equivalence. Let's say we are checking the three equivalence one. Okay, so for three equivalence, I'm for, I will first check the Q0 and Q4. So Q0 on zero moves to Q1 and Q4 on zero moves to Q7. So one and seven are in the same set. Similarly, Q0 on one moves to Q5 and Q4 on one also moves to Q5. These are same. So hence I'll say that Q0 and Q4 are three equivalent. The another pair to check is Q1, Q7. Now Q1, the Q1 on zero moves to Q6 and Q7 also moves to Q6. Now Q1 on one moves to Q5, sorry, Q2 and Q7 on one also moves to Q2. These are same. These are same. It means they will be in the same set. So I'll say that they are three equivalent. Now, another thing to check is about Q3 and Q5 and Q3 on zero moves to Q2, Q5 on zero also moves to Q2, the same one. Now Q3 on one moves to Q6 and similarly Q5 on one moves to Q6. These are also same. It means Q3 and Q5 are three equivalent. So if these are three equivalent, it means that there is no change in between two equivalent and three equivalent. So it means that the outcome of the two equivalent and three equivalent are same. Hence, I can declare that the state minimization has been performed and we have got the similar states. Now it's a turn to draw the new transition table. In the new transition table, I'll say that the state Q0 and Q4 will be combined. So let's name it as Q04. Similarly, state Q1 and Q7 will be combined. Let's say this is Q17. And then the state Q2 is same. Then state three and five have been combined like this. And state six remains same. Fine. So in this table, I'll remove the state uh, Q4. Then I'll remove the state Q5. And then I'll remove the state Q7. So what I remain with is the Q0, Q1. Q2, Q3, and Q6, and they have been renamed as Q04, Q17, Q2, Q35, and Q6. So let's write the transitions. So instead of Q1, I'll write Q17. Instead of Q5, I'll write Q35. Instead of Q6, 
Q6 will be written, Q2 will be written here. And from Q2, it is Q0, I'll replace it by Q04. It will be Q2 only. Q3 will go to Q2 on 0. Q35 go, will go to Q6 on 1. Q6 will go to itself on 0. And it will go to Q04 on getting 1. So this is the minimized table. And I'll draw the DFA. So let's say Q04 state is here. This is the start state. In the, the final state in the original one was Q2, so the same will be rem, will remain here also. So Q04, it goes to Q17 on 0. And then with 1, it goes to state Q35. Q17 on 0 goes to Q6. And it goes to Q2 on getting 1. Q2 state by getting 0, it goes to state number Q04. And it remains at itself on getting 1. Q35 goes to Q2 on getting 0. And it goes to Q6 on getting 1. Better is to design a DFA that does not, in which the edges do not cross each other, but I have made a mistake. I hope you will not do the same. So you should draw the states like uh, there is no cross of the edges. So Q35, we've seen the transition of Q35. Now Q6 on 0 goes to itself. And with 1, it goes to Q04. So this is the minimized DFA for the given state transition table. So I hope it makes sense and we will meet with another example in the next video. Thanks for watching.